bring in Dr. Kevin McHale, Kate Regional Health System, Penn Orthopedics. The best of both worlds for a healthier life. For an appointment, call 609-463-CAPE or visit caperegional.com slash orthopedics. And a look at this week's injury report. We've been hearing a lot about some of these injuries this week as we go to the Boardwalk Honda Hotline and talk with Dr. Kevin McHale here. Let's start with Dak Prescott. This is probably the biggest story going right now in the NFL. Uh, Zeke Elliott said Prescott injured his AC joint, and that's kind of what Prescott said. He, he kind of admitted today that he's dealing with something, but he said he will play. Uh, but is this something? And, Josh, do we have the doc with us? All right, so Dr. Kevin McHale is with us. Uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, let's get to this uh, AC joint. Uh, we've heard a lot of different things about this and how much it could hinder throwing. He was obviously a different player last week, Doc. So what, what can you tell us about this injury, the AC joint, and how it could, uh, you know, affect the game on Sunday? So these injuries uh, absolutely can affect the ability to throw. Uh, there's a wide spectrum of the range of severity of injury to the AC joint. Uh, there's two sets of ligaments that stabilize this joint. It's that area where the collarbone meets the outside of the shoulder. Um, and it sounds like out of the Dallas, based on the fact that that MRI didn't show any structural damage, that Prescott didn't tear the ligaments, but he likely sprained them or kind of stretched them and damaged them in a way that it's just a source of pain. So without any medication or anything like that, throwing a ball with this injured joint absolutely would hurt you. Uh, and depending on the severity, it can lead to missing sometimes. We saw James Conner missing a couple of games this season with a similar injury. Um, but it, without any structural damage to the joint, likely they'll be able to perform some injections on game day to try to minimize that pain and discomfort. Uh, likely still will impact him in some, to some degree, no question about it, but it should help a lot with his pain and allow him to play through it. Yeah, now there had been some talk that there could have been like a rotator cuff uh, bruise, not really a tear, but uh, depending on, like when you have that potential, you know, it, it seems that he is not going to be 100% no matter, regardless of the injury of the situation. Yeah, the rotator cuff bruise is a bigger deal. So the AC joint, a lot of times you can do an injection, you numb up that area, they can play through that. If it's a true rotator cuff strain, that's going to hurt them a lot because the rotator cuff is incredibly important uh, for the throwing motion. So it absolutely will impair them to some degree. Uh, and it's going to be a, a decision up for the Cowboys to see, you know, who's going to be the best quarterback for them based on the injury. You know, if he's playing at 80%, Dak Prescott, that might be good enough for him to, to get the Cowboys to play well against the Eagles. Um, but they'll have to wait and see how he's feeling on game day and how he can, how he's performing. Yeah, and uh, it, it, Dak did say it was an AC joint sprain. Simple as that. He says, I'm getting better, all improving, did not practice today, hasn't practiced all week. Let's go to Camus Grugier hill uh, He, This is an interesting story because his agent kind of came out and said he's been dealing with pain and been taking injections and all sorts of stuff, but – he needs surgery for a lower lumbar disc herniation, uh, and that sounds like, you know, when we talk about the back, that, uh, that that's a big problem. Yeah, you know, these herniations, depending on the size of the herniation, uh, will determine whether or not the players try to play through it, whether they're going to try to rehab it. Uh, sometimes these, the herniation in and of itself can cause just low back pain. Sometimes that herniation where that disc is starting to bulge out, it can irritate a nerve root, and that can lead to pain shooting down the leg with associated numbness and tingling and weakness. And when the larger herniations like that, they typically need the surgery. Now, the fact that he may or may not have been playing with this means that it could have been a smaller injury that they were trying to manage with rehab and these other types of treatment options, but it got to a point where it's just limiting him so much that he, he had to have the procedure done. Uh, typically, the procedure they do is something called a microdiscectomy. It's a small little incision, but it gives you access to the back to trim away the, that damaged part of the, the disc that's pinching the nerve. But once you get rid of that uh, damaged portion of the disc, it relieves the pressure on the nerve root, and a lot of times the symptoms get better very, very quickly. Now, it does take a couple of months for everything to kind of heal, for him to gradually get back to training, and, and several months before he's going to be ready to play in the NFL. We, you know, we dealt with this at, with Tim Jernigan last year, and now his was much later in the year, in the off season in April, so he ended up missing time for the regular season. Um, this shouldn't be the case with Gurdjieff Hill. He should likely be ready to play by the beginning of next year. But it looks like his season's over. All right. What about Alshon Jeffrey? We, we talked uh, over the years, uh, Doc, that you've been on with us about the Liz Franck injury. Dr. Robert Anderson is the leading foot specialist. He underwent surgery Sunday. But these, uh, re, you know, these are no uh, easy injuries to come back for. He's going to be, what, 30 years old next year. Yeah, they're, they're very tough to get back from. You know, it takes a long, lengthy recovery, somewhere between around nine months to 12 months, uh, to fully heal and get back to play. 
Um, and there's a good chance this time of year he should be ready to go by the end of next season or by the beginning of next season, but he could miss some time if things don't go perfectly. We already dealt with that with Jalen Mills this year. Um, you, know, where, you know, It took him a full year to get back on the field. Um, these things, uh, that injury in the middle of your foot there, it really has to heal perfectly for that to not per- affect performance down the line. It's just so critical for push-off strength, speed, cutting, pivoting, all that kind of stuff. So um, it's good that he had a, sur- a surgery by someone that's really well-known for doing this type of procedure and doing it well. Uh, hopefully we will see him on the field next year and, and in time that he doesn't miss much of the uh, beginning of next season, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, uh, today's injury report brought to you by Cape Regional Health System. That's Dr. Kevin McHale with Penn Orthopedics. The best of both worlds for a healthier life for an appointment. Call 609-463-CAPE or visit caperegional.com slash orthopedics. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and Happy New Year. Kevin, it's always great to talk to you. All right, great. Merry Christmas, guys. Let's go birds against the Cowboys this weekend.